in successive measurements the readings of the period of oscillation of a simple pendulum were found to be 2.63 seconds 2.56 seconds 2.42 seconds 2.71 seconds and 2.80 seconds though there are five observations now based on these five observations we have to find out or calculate mean value of period of oscillation absolute error in each measurement mean absolute error relative error and percentage error and finally we have to express the result of these observations in proper scientific form okay now let's begin with the first portion to find out the mean value of period of oscillation now the mean value for the time is t bar which is the summation of all the individual times divided by total number of observations so the first reading is 2.63 second reading is 2.56 third reading is 2.42 fourth reading is 2.71 and fifth reading is 2.80 so we have to add all of them first okay and then divide by the number of observation which is 5 so we will get roughly 2.624 seconds okay but all these observations had only three significant figures 1 2 and 3 so the resultant cannot have more than three significant figures so we have to cut off here so the answer will be 2.62 seconds now this is the mean value of the observations now the second part is to find out errors in the individual observation that means we have to find out delta t1 delta t2 delta t3 delta t4 and delta t5 okay which is nothing but the mean value minus the individual value so the first value the mean value is 2.62 which we just calculated minus first value is 2.63 so it is minus 0.01 similarly 2.62 minus the second value was 2.56 so this value is plus 0.06 okay now the third value is 2.62 minus 2.42 so this value will be plus 0.20 third value is 2.62 minus 2.71 which is equal to minus 0.09 and the third value is 2.62 minus 2.80 which is equal to minus 0.18 okay so these are the absolute errors in individual observations okay now two portions are complete now the third question is to find out the mean absolute errors okay that means mean of the absolute errors in the second part we found out only the absolute errors and these were for the individual readings now mean absolute error the formula is delta t bar will be equal to 
summation of individual errors divided by number of observations but remember that we have to take magnitude of these errors okay so this value will be equal to 0 0.01 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.18 now this entire thing has to be divided by 5 which is equal to 0 0.54 divided by 5 which is equal to 0 0.108 now since all these were having only two decimal places after the uh, two digits after the decimal place so this also should have only two so we will cut off here. So this value will be equal to 0 0.11 seconds. Okay. Now after having done the third part, let's come to the fourth part which is the relative error. Okay. Now the relative error is given by the expression delta t that is mean upon the mean value okay so what is the mean absolute error it is 0 0.11 and what is the mean value of time it is 2.62 okay now if you calculate this 0 0.04 okay so this is the relative error and percentage relative error is 4%. If you multiply relative error with 100, you will get percentage relative error as 4%. Now the final question for this part is that you have to write or express this observed values in a proper fashion. Now we know that mean value that came is 2.62. So we will assume as if this is the true value. And the error mean error is 0 0.11 okay both these units are in seconds so t will be written as 2.62 plus minus 0 0.11 second or it can be written as 2.62 plus minus 4 percent 2.262 seconds plus minus 4 percent in terms of percentage error so these both expressions are acceptable